Anyway, now, Celebrity Big Brother is returning to our screens in just a week's time. Yep, seven days and counting. We're already very excited. And here with us tonight are two very familiar faces, former housemates Sam Pepper and Spencer Smith. Now, in the build-up to the big launch, they've taken part in a one-off show for Channel 5, a special edition of The Silent Library. Now, if you haven't seen it, basically, contestants have to try and stay quiet while they're being put through some crazy tasks. And please remember, these were all done in a controlled environment, so don't try this at home. <laughs> Both men are wearing pain bracelets, which will deliver an electric shock if they lose. Wolverine's paper wraps Spencer's stone. <laughs> now, unfortunately, this program is not broadcast in smell-o-vision. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to ask, yeah. did you know what you were getting yourself in for when you agreed to do yeah, that? Yeah, it was all right. I think they went quite tame on us, actually, because when we were leaving, they were filming another one, and they, I saw a tray of sheep's testicles coming out for uh, that, well, they kept away from us. Would you have so, eaten them? Have no, they done that? No. no. <laughs> Draw the line. Now, it's based on a Japanese game show. We know from other shows that have come from Japan, they, they like their sort of wacky ideas. Mm. Sam... That was an octopus on a spinning wheel hitting you in the face. I mean, what it doesn't portray in the video <laughs> it was, is the was it a squid? Yeah, it, it, it had been it had been there for two days in the sun. Oh, nice. So mm -hmm. when they brought out, everyone could just smell it, and everyone was gagging. And then I had to put my face into that, and it's like a. Well, we could smell it before they brought it out. Wow. Yeah. We knew something fishy was coming from when we walked in the building. I was going to say was, you don't want to whiff a fish. No, Glenn, it's never good. Glenn thought he would step up to the row to push my face further right. into it. So. Mm. Did so, you think you might leave at that point when you saw the smelly octopus? <laughs> I thought, God, it was for charity. Squid. Come on, we couldn't. Ah. We couldn't give in. You know. That's the problem, is it? They, they've got you then, haven't they? Yeah, exactly. So did the task get any worse than that? Was that was that one of the worst ones? I, Can you tell too much? It's too much. There was. There was one which involved a raw egg, um, yeah. and I think I don't think I would have done that. <laughs> no, that was horrible. You had to eat it, the shell and everything. Yeah, yeah the whole the, the shell. Marcus, wasn't it? Yeah. I yeah. look forward to seeing who wow. gets to do that. Yeah. But our regular on, on OK TV, Josie Gibson, also took uh, part. We've got yes. a clip. Let's take a look. Sam's giving Josie a few technique tips there. <laughs> There's <laughs> a lot of snot going in the glass. Yum. That's going to be delicious. Drink it down. Quick. And time's up. It's a pass for Juicy Josie, though she can't tell with those orangey goggles. There we go. Can I just check? Is she snorting orange juice? Yes. She was making juice with her nose. But oh, okay. she got away with things lightly, you know. I, think I, she I does agree. Everything. I think that would be really awful because whenever no, you eat an orange, no. your eyes are watery. No, no. no. come on. It's not a lemon. A lemon. I'm just sticking up with Josie because she comes on here every week. So yeah. Yeah. She got away That's lightly. Like, you need to, uh, to organise something for her, actually. The on one here. thing I wanted to ask, though, I mean, when she comes on talking about Twitter, we can't shut her up really in the nicest possible way. She loves to have a chat. Yeah. How difficult did she find it keeping quiet? She did okay, I think. Yeah, she I mean, wasn't too bad, actually. As, as we said, I don't, I don't think her tasks were, uh, you know... You, you think I think she was terrified for quite a lot of it. Yeah, because obviously the was... person that gets the, whatever it was, the OK sign or whatever yeah. has to do it, she was generally quite terrified. She was terrified scared for... what, whether she was going to be... Because the thing was, straight after that, she was coming here to film and she was expecting to come <laughs> she here didn't with want to cream fish. pies <laughs> in her <laughs> face. <laughs> and, so, yeah. Oh, bless her. No, it's all for a good cause, though. Yeah, but I've got to ask about Big Brother. Can't believe it starts in a week time. It's very, very exciting. Mm. How do you think the contestants will be feeling at this point? Nervous. Yeah. I, um, I mean, because it's a new series, they're not going to know whether they've switched up the format or the tasks are going to be harder. So, yeah. Can you ever be prepared for going in? Is there anything you can do psychologically to get yourself in I don't know. It's that different mode? for me because it was so long ago that I did it. It's completely changed into... How long was it? 2002, so yeah. Wow. Yeah, nearly 10 years. So, mm. um, yeah. It's completely changed, really, in, in what it was from what it was back then. But I think now, because it's changed to Channel 5, it's a completely new thing again. So exactly. Mm. And I think a lot of Americans might be on it, and they obviously don't have a, much of a clue how things work here, so they're going to be quite terrified. Yeah, cool. We've got um, some of the pictures, actually, of the new house, which I think is very different to when you guys were in Big Brother. Mm. Take a look, see what you think of these. Look at wow. that. It's pretty space age. It's wow. very swanky. There's the open pan bathroom, they love that, don't they? Yeah. Would you like to yeah. be in that house? Swimming pool at least. Oh, yeah, I'm, definitely. I'm feeling the swimming pool. I don't think there's definitely no swimming pool in your day, was there back then? We, we had a jacuzzi for us. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Look at that. I just think it's, it looks... Because we were chatting about this, Kate, weren't we? We were saying that they were talking originally about it being back to basics, but actually, it seems quite luxurious. Don't you think, uh, looking at it? It does. Is that just one big bedroom, or have they got boys' and girls' bedrooms, you know? Oh, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. It did look like one big bedroom, but I yeah. heard that the reason that they've spent this money and it looks so fabulous is they want them to relax in there ah. so that they can be even naughtier yes. with their behaviour. They'll plough them with booze and hope for some <laughs> CX. That's when all the fireworks happen.
Yes, normally, in my experience. <laughs> well, listen, guys, good to see you. Thank you Thanks for coming in. Thanks I don't know us. how you managed to put yourself through that on Silent Library, yeah. but we'll look forward to watching that. Cheers. Thank Thanks you. for Thank coming you. in.